blessings that he's about to yes. bestow onto you, praise yes, God. Yes, Father. We just thank God for letting us see another day. Yes. Breathing clear air, worshiping better than before, praising like never yes. before, and we yes. thank God for sending down his verbal food for you today. Amen. Through this ministry, we praise yes. you, God. We just thank you for tuning in to us once again. We hope that it becomes a habit. Yes. We hope that you enjoy today's service. Yes. We hope that you dishonor the man servant who's chosen to bring you this word today. Amen. Amen. And amen as we welcome Pastor Natasha to come up and bless us today also. Amen. Enjoy, enjoy, and enjoy. God bless you. Amen. Amen.
and we were doing in spirit and in truth. And I thank God for the opportunity as God gives me the word. As I pray, because I want to make sure that everything that is said and done out of this place is in line with God's word yes. and with God's purpose. Amen. Because I believe that when he gives us something, it's to share with others. Amen. Amen. Because that is our calling, to share the good news. Amen. Amen. To encourage, to build up. And even as it says, what love that we have when we serve the Father, we're to have the same love, right? The heart of God. Hmm. But I want to share today, amen, on prayer. As I was sharing yesterday, prayer can change the world. Amen. And we know that prayer is what? A dialogue with our Heavenly Father. Amen. amen. And we're to uh, know that as we continue to have a relationship with Him, that whatever a child asks, He will receive, amen, from His Father. If he's in line, again, with the word, amen, yes. that means being a good son or a good daughter, amen? And I want to start today, if you want to write the message, I mean, the title is Prayer Can Change Our World. And that's, I believe that strongly because everything that I've prayed for, everything that I've asked the Lord has manifested so far in my life. Still waiting on some other stuff, but you know what? You still keep believing and trusting. Because I believe that as we wait, you know what becomes? Our faith becomes stronger. Amen? And that's what God wants us to do, is to, uh, you know, at the right time and at the right season, that God has it, uh, uh, blessings for you and me as we continue to walk in the truth. Amen? Amen. In order to receive a blessing, you got to be a blessing. Amen? But now, we, uh, Jesus is what? The King of Kings, as has been spoken about. And it also says it in Revelation chapter 19, verse 16. And it says that he, and he had on his robe and on his thing a name that is written that is called what? The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. That has not changed. Amen. That's Revelation chapter 19, verse 16. But you know what? Uh, when we have a problem, is that we're recognizing that Jesus is the king, but also that in heaven. But many have failed to recognize that it is as truth, amen, that we are also, what? Kings here on this earth. You probably heard a lot of messages on the kingdom is within me. That's true. The kingdom is within us because that is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. That you can define in so many names. Amen. Uh, we can call him the great comforter uh, that guides us, that counsels us, but also is the spirit of God. Amen. And how do we maintain that is to keep our covenant with him. Amen. Now, again, it said that on his robe, and remember when they crucified him, they put the plaque up and it said what? King of the Jews. Amen. King of kings and Lord of lords. We know that. Amen. But if you want, write this now. Now, if we are kings on this earth, we are to pray like kings. Amen. Amen. We are to pray like kings. You probably heard this and I'm going to share it again somewhat because it, you'll see where I'm coming from. But again, it says what? If we are kings, write that down, on this earth, we ought to pray like kings and believe that. Amen? Amen. And number two, if are we praying kingdom advance, amen, prayers in our prayers. Amen? amen? In other words, what I mean, that are we advancing the kingdom of God here on this earth? Because that's the great commission. Amen? He said, follow my word, right? Do as I've done. Jesus said, do as I've done. And he said, also, you will do greater things. Amen. Amen. Because we know that he's gone to prepare a place, and we've heard that so many times. But I just want to break it down a little bit. But it says that we have to pray. Remember, I said, number one, that if we are his kings on this earth, we are, uh, uh, I'm sorry, on this earth, are we to pray like kings? Amen. Amen. And number two was, at, are we praying kingdom advancement prayers on this earth? Amen. Yeah. 
And we know in the book of Matthew, Matthew wrote from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has suffered what? Violently. Amen. And the divine must be taken what? By force. Amen. That means we got to declare, Charles. We got to declare something. We got to believe it. But also, you know what? We got to know that God is answers, amen, prayers. Amen. Because I've been in so many situations, even to my life, that I've shared before. And I had to really pray and examine my, do I really believe? In the, in the power of God and the Holy Spirit to say work it from the inside of my body and I'm going to work it on my mind, renewing my mind as I was sharing because I've learned to put the full armor of God, remembering every scriptures, but not just remembering, applying them into my life. Amen? Amen. Applying those scriptures into my life. Amen. And it is important that we continue to remember that there's power. God has given us power and authority over all things. Yes. Amen? Amen. But again, Matthew wrote from the days of John the Baptist until now that the kingdom of heaven has suffered violently. And we're still going through suffering and things that we go through. Amen. And we see this violence and all these things that are happening in the world today. Yes. I was looking at the news, uh, uh, I, think, uh, uh, I think this morning early this morning, and they still have fires in California. Mm -hmm. Acres and acres, man. I was like, oh my God. You know, we see the signs. We don't need to wonder. We see the signs of what's happening. But anyway, uh, the word says in Matthew chapter 11, verse 12, in the King James Version, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has over violently, and the violent must be taken by force. Amen. Amen. What do I mean by that? We got to, when we believe, see, when you have faith, the Bible says that faith is a mustard seed, right? We're to, not only to have that faith, but let it, we might have it at the beginning, but we got to water that faith. How do we do that? It's by applying that word. Also, not just applying it into our minds. And like, we got to really believe it and act on it. Amen. And say, no, I take power and authority over all things that are trying to Hinder me. Amen. Amen. And believing that when you pray that things happen. Because prayer can change. It changes our circumstances. How many times you pray for something. And, it, and maybe it didn't manifest right away. But it did manifest. Amen. And the promises of God came through. Yeah. Amen. We got to remember to focus on that. Amen. Number four. If you want to write this down. Now. In the church we are taught. The importance of prayer. Amen? Amen? We are taught the importance of prayer. And that's what I've been doing for the last go 10 years now. Amen. Uh, 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 sharing what God has given me to share, but also the word of God that's in me to be able to share with one another. Amen? Amen. Because that's our calling. My calling is to what? To share the gospel. What's your calling? To share the good news. What God done in your life, and that's why I keep preaching on unity, witnessing, and all these things that come together. Amen. Yes. It is important that we know that. Again, we know that we've been taught that the importance of prayer. It is important, my brothers and sisters. Our relationship with God is so important. With the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Those three Things are so important, more important than anything else in this world. Amen? And remember that he's given us power and dominion over all things here on this earth. But in also to live in that power, we really got to have an intimate relationship with God. And we really got to trust the word. But the most important thing, that we have to walk in integrity and in the true word of God in our lives. Amen? Not just because we're here, but every day of our lives. That, that, that because God dwells within us. Amen. Amen. And now, you know, I have uh, 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 sometimes faced that my prayers were uh, not usually answered. I remember back in the day. And then they have been, uh, you know, I have called out prayers. And I was telling God about all my problems, which we all do. And that's okay. Even though he knows them already. Because <laughs> once you start getting mature... 
and you start getting attentive to the Word of God, and you start trusting the Word of God and applying it, and the more you renew your mind with the Word, the more you study, you understand what you need to do. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But if, if you remember going back, and probably all of us, we prayed and telling God about our problems and asking Him to fix them. Amen. And trying, uh, 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 and trying to, to make even God feel sorry for us. <laughs> Amen. Uh, oh Lord, you don't know I've been through this, uh, you know, and and I need this prayer and answer. It seems like everybody else. You ever got like that? Yeah, I, I did that at the beginning, Amen. And not, you know, because I thought that was the end, you know, the way to pray, Amen. Because I didn't know the word as much, Charles. So I thought that prayer, uh, even before I got saved, I was thinking that prayer is always just asking God for things. You know, asking God, give me this, give me that, give me this, I need this. I, I'm not, and if you give it to me, I ain't going to do, I'm not going to be bad no more. <laughs> you ever heard that? You do this for me, God, I'm not going to do those things anymore. Amen. Who said that here? Come on, Red Jam. Who said that? All of us in here. Amen. Because that's what we, we considered or we thought what that was prayer was about. But prayer is more than that, my brothers and sisters. As we continue to fill ourselves in power and in knowledge. Again, I'm always saying there's power in knowledge. Amen. Yes. But let me say this. That again, uh, telling God about our problems. Asking Him to fix them. And trying to make Him feel sorry for us. So that He would answer our prayer. All we were doing is deceiving ourselves. <laughs> but Jesus, remember, we go back in the scriptures. As you read the scriptures. Uh, Jesus taught His disciples what? To pray. And what did he teach the, the prayer was? What? Uh, kingdom advancement prayers. That's what he taught. Amen. Because if you look in Luke chapter 11, verse 1 and 2, out of the English Standard Version, I'll read it. And now Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. Amen. Again, he said, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. And in verse 2, and he said to them, when you pray, say what? Father, hallowed be what? Your name. What? Your kingdom come. Amen. Your will, what? Be done. Where? Where? On earth as it is what? In heaven. Amen. So Jesus is telling us, teaching us how to pray. As we study the scriptures. And number five, prayer is about uh, uh, bringing what? The kingdom of God from heaven to earth by what we say and what we pray. Amen. Amen. Write that down so you don't forget that. Prayer is about bringing the kingdom of God from heaven onto this earth by what we say when we pray. Amen. Amen. You see, also we know in the Bible it says that, you know, God said in his word, put me first, follow my commandments. I'm breaking it down simple. Amen. But he said if you uh, uh, that, that the, the promises, amen, that he has given us through his word as we Keep his commandment. Then we'll be, we're open to receive the promises that God has said in his word. That Jesus had said in his word. Amen. Again, what did the disciples say? Teach us how to pray. Right? To Jesus. And he said to them, when you pray, remember, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come onto this earth. And I've said that so many times. I'm here bringing down, you know what, heaven that's within me. Amen. Because if we're kings, amen, and the presence of God is in us, amen, and we have a relationship with him, so we're kingdom children. Amen. The Bible says that we're royal priests, a chosen generation, that we were chosen by God. Amen. But we're to generate what God has given us to our generation. Amen. He says, bring up your children in the ways of what? The Lord. Amen. The principles of the word of God. Amen. That is, that is true 
then and is still true today. Amen. And as we do that, then they will not run from the things of God, but they will run towards the things of God. And then their responsibility is to teach their children and their generations. Amen. To generation to generation. That's our calling. Amen. Again, make sure you write this down. Prayer is about bringing the kingdom of God uh, from heaven to earth by what we say. And, and, uh, I mean, I'm sorry. What we say when we pray. Amen. Amen. And that is the truth, my brothers and sisters. And I'm just here to encourage you, to remind you as I remind myself. That I need God's presence every day in my life. Amen? Amen. As I am, you know, and it's something about the more you uh, learn the word of God, you start getting hungry and thirsty more for what? For the righteousness. Who is righteous of all? It's God. Jesus. We start uh, uh, want to have that more. We start developing that hunger in the spirit because we need to water the seed that's within us. But remember, again, he says start when we start to have faith as a mustard seed, but not to stay as a mustard seed. See, we have to grow in order so we can water other seeds. See, if we're not fully grown, amen, and we don't... Uh, uh, be attentive, amen, and come mature, as the word says, in his word. How can we plant seeds in others? Amen, somebody. Amen. The word says in the Holy Bible, uh, when God created mankind, from what? From dust, amen, of where? Of the earth. And the first thing he said was, let them have what? Dominion, amen, dominion. And everything in it. Amen. That means here on this earth. Amen. Somebody read me Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 through 28. Amen. That talks about dominion over all. But we want to go to the word. Amen. Even though we know that verse. We've heard that verse. But I want us to read it. One of you here. Amen. To speak the word out. Amen. And say it loud. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 through 28. Amen. And God said, let us make man in our image, mm -hmm. according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and mm -hmm. over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image, mm -hmm. in the image of God he created him. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Amen. Amen. Now, Amen. as she read that, it says what? Have dominion, and it names all the areas, from the sea to the fish to everything, to every creeping thing also. And I've said that so many times. Amen. That means over to me, Satan. And my revelation is, oh, snaggle tooth. Amen. Yes. But what I'm saying by that is that he's instructing us. But listen to what the word says. He specifically is saying that, to, that, that we would have dominion over all things. Amen. And he names them by name. Yes. Amen. Because he wants to make sure that we understand. Amen. Amen. But we tend to forget that, my brothers and sisters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We tend to forget. we got to remind ourselves. That's why it's so important to put on the helmet of salvation when we accept the Lord, which is the full armor of God, to remind us and to feed that seed, that little mustard seed. It's supposed to be big now. Mine is big. Amen. Is growing out of me, amen, that I can implant into others. But in order for that seed to grow, I got to believe, I got to trust, and and and, and most of all, I got to stay in the commandments, amen. I got to stay, my life has, has to be a, a, a righteous life, amen, because we know that God said he cannot be with the unrighteous. We experienced that at the beginning of the Word of God, that God came looking for Adam and Eve after He had made them, and when they took that fruit, amen, which they were supposed to not take it, and He gave specific instructions 
uh, about that fruit, amen, what did he do? Huh? They separated themselves from God. They wanted to know what sin was. They got to know what sin was. Amen. Amen. And God had to separate himself from them until they uh, repented. Amen. Amen. Yes. And then he renewed, but yet there was a penalty that they had to pay that today we're still paying. <laughs> yes. And it's the same thing from then till now. We're to live a life of integrity, of truth. Amen. Yes. I'm going to say that again. Of integrity, of truth. Because we are kingdom children. Amen? Amen. Yes, we are. Amen. And we got to walk in that realm. Amen. To be able to continue our relationship with our Heavenly Father. And also that those prayers that we say, Charles, right, will be answered. Yes. Amen. Also prayer, we know that it's speaking directly to God. And, and giving authority as his kings on this earth, commanding the kingdom of God, which is what? Righteousness. What is that righteousness? Peace and joy in what? The Bible says in the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. And to what? And to come. And where does that come from? It comes from heaven. Amen. From the heavens to our realm. Amen. Of authority here on this earth. Amen. And it is not give, and it is not going to happen until, I want to say this again, until we learn to pray like the kings that he said we are. Amen. Yes. It's not going to happen until we pray as the kings that say we are. Because God says that we can do all things, that we have power and authority over all things. We have the power to heal. We have the power to deliver those. We have the power of love. We have the power to uh, build up people, uh, to take uh, dominion over uh, demonic spirits, amen, and binding and loosen them, amen. But we got to really believe it, but also we got to really act on it and not doubt, amen, or not think twice about it and be double-minded, but stay, you know what, I'm going to stay focused, I'm going to keep going, I'm going to continue to believe for that that is in me is greater than anything on this earth, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. See, we got to get bold, we got to take authority, amen, we got to come in with that boldness, amen. To say, you know what, uh, uh, like the movies go, you know, no weapon formed against me. Because, you know, instead of falling out, <laughs> let me say it here, let me just show this. You know what, uh, when things come to me and happen, man, instead of me walking around, I walk around like this, amen, from my heart and my mind, amen. And I said, you know what, yeah, I'm bad, yeah, I'm a man of God, amen, I'm a woman of God. And uh, 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 my sister's out there, you can say, but when it comes out, and you, you go, say, oh, yeah, what, and the enemy comes, you take out your weapon, amen, which is the word of God, amen. 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 <laughs> you take out the power, amen. That's our weapon, amen. And as we speak it out, amen, our tongues are like a two-edged sword, amen, uh, that's slicing and dicing the enemy, amen. A ginsu, baby, I got a ginsu, amen. Then I'm a slice and dice. <laughs> you might say, man, this preach is going quick. No, I'm speaking the truth, amen. Because I believe this. You know what? The more we spend time, the more we pray, the more we have a dialogue, the more we trust the Word of God, regardless of what's happening in the world. Because again, we have power. Prayer is power over everything on this earth. Amen. Because God said it, I believe it. Amen. And we got to take authority. Amen. I hope I'm helping somebody. Amen. To stand up. Amen. And walk with the power and authority of God that Jesus came and and died on the cross because, again, it all leads back to the cross. Amen? Amen. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Now, again, I want to say, to, to this to happen until we learn to pray like the kings that he has said that we are by binding and loosing in the name of Jesus. Now, instead of telling God, let me say this, all about our problems, let us walk in what? Confidence that God knows what is in our minds, because he does. Amen. And what's in our heart. And also, he knows more about our situations than we do. Amen. Yeah. 
You ever think of that? He knows about everything. Amen. And we say that he's a mighty God, that uh, he's in us, that he saved us, and he delivered us, and, and that Jesus raised the dead and walked on the earth and bound and loosed, amen, those things that are evil, amen, and brought and restored man back to God, amen, through Jesus Christ, amen. That's why we're here today. And that's what we believe, and that's what we trust, because why? We have an intimate relationship with the righteous one. Amen. Amen. Again, uh, uh, God knows what's on our minds, and, and, and that's why I tell people all the time, man, sometimes we try to figure out things so much and, 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 and just surrender it to God. Amen. Sometimes we try to figure stuff out. You didn't fix it last time. What do you think you'll fix it now? <laughs> when you lay it before the Lord and say, here, Lord, here I am. Here it is. I've tried my best. And, the, and, and we know that the Bible says that the battle is not ours. It's his. When we have that intimacy relationship with him, when we can uh, know that we are uh, in line with his word in our lives, not just by a, a show to everybody, but that we know in ourselves, amen, in our minds that we're walking righteous before God, amen, because we honor him, we love him, and we serve him in spirit and in truth. We don't deceive ourselves because we know that the enemy is trying to do that every day. <laughs> so we got to be awoken and ready to take our rightful place as kings here on this earth. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh, I feel it. You know what? We must walk in confidence. And God knows, that, again, that what's on our minds and what our heart is, what we need and what we don't need. Amen. Sometimes we think we need something so bad that that's going to make us happy. You ever thought that? You got something. Oh, this is going to make me happy. Uh, uh, as if I remember my one of my uh, first cars, amen, I was 16 years old, and I said, man, this is going to make me the happiest person in the world. I will never have to, how naive I was, thinking that a car, Charles, was going to make me happy, and I'm going to be real good. God, if you allow this, I remember that prayer. God, if you allow that, you know, I'm sure. But I knew, I said, Lord, when you want something, you give me, give me. I said, Lord, please open this door. I'm going to be so happy. I got the car. I even slept in it. I was so crazy about the car, and I was only 16 years old. <laughs> I didn't even have a license. Amen. See? Doing things negative, amen, and thinking that that was the blessings of God, and I got the car to realize that down the road I got in trouble having the car. Mm, no license. <laughs> no license, no insurance. <laughs> in New York City, try driving a car like that at 16. <laughs> All it did is bring me problems, amen. Thinking, so I'm relating to what I'm saying today, is that I thought that would make me happy, and God already knew that ain't going to make him happy. He's going to go through some, through, some, through, through some hurdles there in his life, but he got to learn. Amen. And God allows us to go through things so we can get wisdom. <laughs> Sometimes we do it to ourselves. Is that the truth? Amen. Now, if we spend time praising him, amen, what? In the what? In the spirit. And we worship him and set our, it, it what? It sets our spirit free. Amen. My daughter this morning, I was listening to uh, uh, a song uh, because I'm, I'm learning, I'm, I'm, I'm practicing guitars and, and that's something that I've been wanting to do and I listen to a lot of jazz or Santana, amen, music because they, these are great guitarists and Eric Clapton, amen, which is a great guitarist. And I don't know if you ever heard that song, I Shot the Shirt, yeah. but I did not shoot the deputy. So he, <laughs> so as I'm getting prepared to go to church, amen, I got the music loud in the house, man, in my room with the speakers coming out of the computer. And it's saying, the, you know, the, 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 the guitar beat, amen, is so beautiful. And I'm, and I'm one that that's how I learn music, by hearing it. But getting inspired, and the song was saying, I shot the shirt, but I did shoot the devil. My daughter said, Dad, it's Sunday. <laughs> I said, No, I said, Yeah, you're right. Amen. You see what I'm trying to say? Now, that's a beautiful thing to me because I was thinking of that coming here, and I said, T, what I planted in her, amen, is manifesting. Amen? amen. What I planted in her is manifesting. Amen. It's the truth. And I'll be the first to say amen to that. Amen. 
But you see, because you know you identify yourself and others when you spend time with the Lord and you walk in integrity and you walk in truth. The Bible said not only did you have a good name, Amen, as a righteous person with God, but also those that are around you. Amen. 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 But the reason I was listening to that was the guitar lick. <laughs> Amen. And I said, well, I'm going to turn that song from I Shop to Serve. I'm going to say, I've got Jesus. That's right. But I know that. I, I, well, well, I'll get the second part. <laughs> Amen. But let me say this. When we spend time praising Him in the Spirit, uh, we worship Him and we're set free. Amen. Amen. Our spirits are set free. Because you know, I tell people all the time as I do myself, music and worship, amen, it's a beautiful thing when we praise God and worship Him. And Satan knows that. Amen. Because that's what he did. Amen. Amen. And, uh, uh, but he polluted it. He destroyed it. Amen. Because he started worshiping himself. But he was made to worship God. And we're to worship God. We were made to worship and to praise him. Amen. Amen. But look how good God is. And Jesus. And that is God also part of himself. As I, 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 my, my, my revelation is of that. Is that, uh, that, that, that he says. Not only as you praise me and worship me. Praise each other. Worship each other. Help each other. Yes. Amen. Love each other as I love the Father and He loves me. Amen. The day as one that we will become that one. Amen. Yes. Now, some of you out there say, well, that don't sound... Yes, it does. Think about it. Amen. When you worship somebody, you know what I'm saying? Not actually worship, but I'm saying when you love somebody, amen, and you care for somebody, you praise them, you acknowledge them, you uh, uh, encourage them. And God said for us to do that, then we'll become one as he is with the Father. So we're to be Christ-like. We're made in his image, in God's image, right? Uh, the Bible said. So we're to be those kingdoms of uh, priests here on this earth. Amen. 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 But again, it uh, sets us free, right? And with our heavenly language. Amen. And then suddenly we know uh, what to say. Amen. And, and what uh, we to declare. Amen. To others, because God gives us revelation. Of, uh, he speaks through us, amen, to speak to others and to use our heavenly language uh, that some of us define it as speaking in tongues, uh, the interpretation also of tongues to share with others, amen. amen. Because you know what? You're so in, uh, in tune with God, amen. If you want to write this down, A, if He gives us words when we pray this way, our faith bounds or starts, oh, I put bounds, what? Forward. Amen. Right? We start going what? Forward. Forward. Amen. Amen. When he gives us words, we say these with prayer and this way and our faith starts abounding more what? Forward. Amen. In other words, we start moving where God wants us to move. Amen. Amen. B, when we are trying to believe for something we want, but rather are speaking, uh, uh, but rather are speaking the answer he has what? Given us, right? Given us, amen. In what? In confidence, amen. You ever God gave you a word, amen, and he shares that word with you, amen, and it's between you and God, and all of a sudden you get revelation, you know what to say or what to do at that very point in your life, Amen. And sometimes it's not to be spoken to others, but it's in confidence that God gave you a word and He's let you see something that maybe others don't see, but He lets you see it. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. But a lot of us go right away. We see something, we start blabbing our mouths. And God didn't say, go blab it out. I gave it to you. Yes, <laughs> so Amen, somebody. Yes. When we look around us, there are so many what? Problems. We see that today. Right? But we can't allow ourselves to be swallowed up. Amen. In these problems. Amen. Amen. I can't allow people that always <laughs> sometimes people come out of left field. Amen. Or things happen in our life to try to swallow us back. 
into a negative vibe. I'm going to say that. Or into a negative place. You know what I'm trying to say? You ever got that? You know, something from your past or, to, you know, come to you and try to get you back into that yeah. negative zone. Yeah. Amen. Or take away your joy. Take away uh, uh, the peace that God has given you. Amen. Because, again, I keep saying it, and I'm going to keep saying this, as I've learned through my life, amen, and is that God, amen, will use anybody and anything to destroy. Amen? God will use anybody and anything. But when we walk in, in the power and the authority that God has given us, God bless you, my brother. Amen. We know that we have power and authority when we know that the word said that we can bind and loose on this earth. Amen. Amen. As he instructed us through his words, my brothers and sisters. Amen. Yes, amen. And God is going to be okay? Yes, sir. Amen. <laughs> Next week is okay? Uh, yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 I announce it. Okay, I'll speak to you when I finish here. Amen. God bless you, Pastor. Amen. Again, let me say this, that when we look around us, there are so many problems. We know that. But we can't allow them uh, ourselves to be swallowed up by these problems. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I can't allow myself, and you can't allow yourself, because you know what? God said, what? We're to move bounding what? Forward. Amen. We're to go forward, not backward. But there's somebody always trying that they're going to use it to try to push you back. Yeah. Take you off your calling. Amen. That's for sure. Amen. Amen. See, if you want to write this down, how much better it is to spend our time talking, right? Yeah. To Him. Amen. Praising Him, worshiping Him, and then what happened? Letting Him whispers the answers into our spirit. Amen. Because you ever been in a situation, I have been so many times, in situations that uh, God has allowed, uh, as I, as I, even as I was worshiping and praising Him, and even though I had a situation that was in my mind or in my heart, or maybe negative something that has happened, or someone had said something that kind of put you in that place, amen, and you just pushing it aside, saying, I'm going to worship God and everything, and all of a sudden, through that worship and through as you praise Him, God gives it in a small voice, amen. Uh, gives you the answer. What to do, what not to do about that situation. That, again, letting Him whisper the answer into our spirit. Amen. Knowing that our spirit, we know that we can do what He said we can do and trust the Word because of the relationship to say, you know what, I know what I need to do and I'm going to do it. Amen. That's why I tell people all the time, though, as the Bible says, be quick to listen. Right? Yeah. Be slow to speak. Amen. Amen. Be quick to listen and be slow to speak. Many times we don't need to wait for the word, uh, for his word. For example, when someone needs, we already know God's will. Amen. Amen. His word said it. Amen. I'll say that again. Many times, in some situations, we don't need to wait. Amen. For his word to come. Because if we have an intimate relationship with Him, my brothers and sisters, we know what to do. Because the Word is in us. And we start getting what? The heart and the mindset of God. Amen. Uh, and again, like if you see someone in need, we already know what God's will is about that. You see someone in need, you already know. That's what I'm trying to say. You already know what you need to do. Amen? Amen. You don't have to, Lord, what should I do? You ever had that? You tell people something? Well, let me pray about it. Let me go to God. That tells me, what's your relationship with God? You know? Somebody comes in and say, uh, Charles, I mean, uh, you know, I'm in this situation, I need this. And you say, well, uh, let me stop, let me pray about it. Let me go pray about it, then I'll get back to you. Mm. Is that the truth? Have you ever heard that? You ever heard that? 
The person is telling you this need, but yet you want to stop and go, go talk to God about it after. Lord, help us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Again, many times we don't need to, to wait for God's word. And it, like I was just saying, if someone needs something, we are, uh, already know what the God, God's will is and our word. And then we think that, you know, uh, 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 that God doesn't see. God sees everything. God sees our heart. He sees our mind. Those that have a relationship. And even those that don't because he sees all things. Amen. 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 Third John chapter 1 and 2. Third John chapter 1 and 2. Amen. You know, and, and, and Third John to me has been, I read that, that it's one chapter in the Bible, Third John. Uh, but I, 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 that theme of that chapter, it's all about Christian hospitality. I, I phrase it as that. It's Christian hospitality. Because it says in Third John uh, verse 1, I mean chapter 1, which is one chapter, uh, verse 2, it says, Beloved, I pray that you what? May what? Prosper what? In all things. And be what? In health, just as your what? Just as what? Soul your souls prosper. Amen. Amen. Your soul prosper. He wants us to prosper. He, most of all, he wants our soul to prosper. Our spirit, our very being of who we are. Amen? Amen. Also, in the complete Jewish Bible, I want to read it, but I want to go that same chapter... Uh, John, uh, uh, chapter, third John, but I want to read out of the Jewish Bible. I'm going to read from two to four, and it says, "Dear friends, I pray that everything uh, that everything prospers prospers with you, and that you be in what in good health, as I know you are prospering in what spiritually." Yeah. Amen. Prospering what? Spiritually. For I, I, for I was so happy when some brothers came and testified, amen, how faithful, let me say that again, some brothers came and testified how faithful you are to what? The truth, amen, as you continue to live in the what? Truth. Amen. Nothing gives me more greater joy than hearing that my children, amen, are living in the truth. Amen. Are living in the truth. Amen. I don't even have to break that down. That explains it all. Amen. We're to live in the truth. And that means how do we live in the, not only being truthful to God, but also to each other. Amen. God does not like lies. And we know that God, the devil, is about lies. And God, I'm going to say that again, is about truth. Lies, truth. Amen. You know what I'm saying? And Jesus came to bring what? The truth. To set who free? Us free. Amen. He came to set us free from the lies. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Of the enemy. Which is we know who he is. A creeping thing. Satan. Amen. And demonic spirits. They continue. That that's how the devil works. Is through demonic spirits. And try to uh, infect us. Amen. With those negative spirits into our lives. Amen. That's why we must continue to put the full armor of God. Yes. Daily in our lives. Amen. Yes. John wrote that this in this letter. Uh, to uh, Ga Gaos. Amen. And commanded uh, uh, and commanded him, uh, commended him rather for his faith. Gaon. I'm not talking about Caesar. Amen. I'm the Gaon was a a a, 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 a brother that that, that uh, let me see. I wrote it down somewhere in here. He was a brother also that that uh, a minister with 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 Paul. Amen. And John. Amen. And journeys that they went. Third John chapter eleven. It says, Beloved, follow not that which is evil, amen, but that which is what? Good. He who does good is of God. I'm going to say that again. 
He who does good is of God, but he who does evil has not seen God. Again, John chapter 3, verse 11. Beloved, follow that which is, uh, I'm sorry, beloved, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He who does good is of God. Plain and simple, right? But he who does evil, amen, is what? Is not seeing God. <laughs> amen. Has not seen God. Amen. amen. And I'm telling you, when you, you know, that's why I tell people, be very careful. To let nothing separate us from the freedom and the joy and the peace that God has given us. Amen. Through having a relationship with Him. Amen. Amen. That will separate us. I'm going to say that again. Don't let anything separate you from the righteousness of God in your life. Amen. Be faithful, man, because he is faithful. And as you continue to be faithful, man, you be faithful in the little. You'll see what God will take you. Amen. And, and the peace that he gives us inside, regardless of what we're going through. And we're walking in the truth and in the righteousness of God. Amen. Because then you know what? If we don't, then we know that as the word says, we, we, don't, we, have, we haven't seen God. We confess, some of us say that we know God, but we really don't know Him. Because our actions should be speak more than just our words. Amen. Our, 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 our relationships with our family and our children and our, uh, our people that we meet is so important because we're to bring the righteousness of God, the truth of God into this world. It's up to you and me, my brother and sister, because He has... Uh, 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 given us uh, that task, not that task. He's given us the privilege to be children of God, Amen, and representatives and witnesses of His uh, 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 of, of of His power and of His love and of of of, of His kindness for this world today. And and He planned it from day one, Amen. Uh, that we would have dominion over the earth. But today it seems that so many things are happening around us that uh, are having dominion over our lives, you know, over our families, over our friends, our neighbors, all this stuff that's happening. And it's sad because there's so many people hurting out there, you know, and they need a ray of hope, a ray of uh, compassion, a ray of love that only radiates through the children of God. Amen. And kindness and gentleness and having the mindset and the heart of God to uh, be patient with one another, loving, preferring. I keep saying these things because these are the most important things that we can do. How can we move forward in anything else if we can't do the, the basic things that God has asked us to do? Amen. Amen. It's to, to do right, to do things right. Amen. Mm -hmm. To do things in truth, to walk in integrity. Amen. And let us do these things, man. It's so important. Again, I pray for all those that have lost the numbers. What is it now? Eight hundred and eight hundred thousand nine. Amen. And thirty-eight some have died already from this coronavirus and all these other. The fires are still happening around the world today. We need to be focusing more in our prayers and our dialogue with our heavenly Father, but also taking authority and binding and loosening these things that are happening in the earth today. That's why prayer, we must come into unity. But you know what? God only answers the prayer of the righteous with those that are asking, amen, that are, are doing right, amen, because God works through people, amen, and he wants us to do it right, to, to walk in truth, and then his presence is there, and when we ask, then things are happening, amen. It's that simple. We don't have to go through so many details, but to say that we're going to do things right and in order, amen. I hope this message has touched you and, you know, we're here for that purpose is to share the gospel here at Love Wings Ministry Studios and continue to bless all those that are there. I don't know, did we get anybody watching? Amen? Huh? 
I didn't hear no names. Huh? Oh, okay. Amen. For those still watching, God bless you. Thank you for watching this whole message. If I can help in anything, you can email me at lovewingsministry at gmail.com. I hope that today's message has blessed you. Amen. And uh, uh, don't forget that Saturday, amen, uh, we'll have women at the round table. And Sunday, uh, God has opened the door. We're going to go uh, to uh, uh, Natasha. What's the name again? again? Um, Redeeming Love. Church of God, amen, and Pastor Jackson, and I'll be sharing the gospel there, and we'll be coming live from there and sharing uh, uh, God's word and, and, and encouraging our brothers and sisters there and coming together in prayer, amen, to uh, uh, come into unity, amen, to be able to pray and to bind and to lose those things that are happening, exactly what I was just sharing today. Uh, to taking authority, amen, and walking in truth and righteousness. So from Pastor Benny and everybody here at Love Wings Ministry, I love you guys. I send blessings to everyone out there, amen. If you have any comments, please continue to send them. Or uh, any prayer requests, please send them. We will pray, amen. As you send them, we will pray. And again, I look forward to uh, uh, ministering to you again on social media. God bless you from Pastor Benny and everybody says... Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah.